Welcome back to the second issue of the day. The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Bishop Matthew Kuka, has been asked to resign from the General Abdul Salam uh, National Peace Committee. This request was made by the Muslim Rights Concern, MURIC. The organization stated that Kuka's pronouncements are inconsistent with the bishop's status as the Secretary of the Peace Committee. Bishop Kuka had had in his uh, Christmas message to Nigerians stated that President Muhammadu Buhari's government owes Nigerians an explanation over the killings of innocent people in the country. Joining us to discuss this is Professor Ishak Akitola, the director of Muslim Rights Concern, MURIC. Good evening, Prof. Good evening, Professor Akitola. Uh, good evening. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Compliment of the season. Thank you. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas in arrears. Thank you so much. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to the issue that is on the front burner. We've read some of your statements and uh, we've seen your position on what uh, Reverend Father Martin Kuka has said. Uh, what is the rationale behind calling for his resignation from that committee? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the, peace co the Nigerian Peace Committee, under normal circumstances, is expected to contain, to be made up of men of integrity, men who are neutral, non-partisan, who are not uh, necessarily, uh, necessarily attached to any particular religion. Yes, they will have a faith, but they will not be the leaders of any faith. And so we think, we, we feel anybody in that position must have been seen as somebody who is credible, somebody who has integrity. Now, Reverend Father Kuka is just in this habit of exploding at any given moment. He, he cannot be trusted to, to, be, uh, to be stable, emotionally. On, on several occasions, he has uh, actually uh, uh, made explosive pronouncements, uh, very uh, uh, irritating uh, 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 pronouncements. But recently, the most recent statements he made uh, are, are two or three. He, he indirectly called for a coup Again, he accused uh, the Muslims of being violent, a violent people, that Islam is a violent religion. And uh, we find this unacceptable. If he has already made up his mind that a, a democratically elected government should be, should, be, should be ousted forcefully, I think that is quite un undemocratic. And that is unexpected of somebody who is the secretary of such a very sensitive committee like the national, the, the Nigerian Peace Committee. Okay, let's That's number let, one. Prof. Yes. Prof. Yes, let, yes. Let, let's look at the two critical issues you stated as uh, reasons why he should resign. Number one has to do with the idea of being accused of calling for a coup. The idea of someone who represents peace committee being associated with some kind of forceful takeover of government. He has come out That's to right. explain that that was not his intention. And we could easily also say that this man does not have any kind of followers who carry arms. And therefore, the inference was uh, uncalled for in his response. So can we look oh. at the fact that this message is taken out of context, having coming out to, having come out to the debunk it. That is in your, that's your own impression. Or the impression he wants the generality of the populace to believe. There are people who can, who can read. There are people who can interpret. His body language, Kuka's body language has always been combatant, aggressive, and it, 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 particularly anti-system anti, anti and of course very very antagonistic to the religion of Islam 
if anybody should be secretary of that committee, it should be someone who is neutral. It may be a Christian, but it will be the friendly type, not one that will be accusing the Muslims of aggression, of violence. What kind of, what kind of report is he going to write if the committee sits on an issue? Then Kuka will definitely cook it and tilt that report to, uh, to his own side. We can no longer trust a man like that who accuses okay. Muslims of being violent. Then he is going to sit as judge on matters concerning Muslims and Christians. Okay, Prof. Prof, let's yes. also look at two issues in the, in the public domain. Number one, there was a reference to the Sultan of Sokoto who has also been very vocal about the killings in the north. And uh, people would say that it wasn't these attacked when he made that comment. And secondly, the Sultan is also a member of this peace committee. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. No, I, I mean discussing... that's the you, argument excuse out there. Me, excuse me, we are not discussing the Sultan. And I will not comment on that. Sultan is our leader. He's accepted. I am not commenting on what, I what he has said. We are talking that. about Kuka. I mean, that's the uh, argument our statement, out there. Our statement made no reference to the Sultan's statement. And that Sultan's statement came more than three weeks ago. You can't bring that up along Kuka's statement. Why? The Sultan didn't call for a coup. The Sultan didn't say Christians are violent. The Sultan didn't accuse any side. The Sultan addressed the government. That is okay, Prof. Let me say that you have criticism. ended up explaining to us. I, oh, that's all I wanted. I wanted you to explain to those people who have brought up that argument that uh, this issue should be looked on its merit rather than. If not, there's no merit in what Kuka said. There's no merit in what Kuka did. Did you go through all the statements? You look at Prof? the pedigree, you look at the background, you look at what happened in 2019 before the election. You look at what what Kuka and you know and about three or four people did before the election, and you now look at the pronouncements of Kuka for the past one year. He has been hostile. He has been antagonistic. He has been acting like a a leader of a political uh, 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 of an opposition party. Prof. Whereas he's a cleric. Prof. Prof. Yes. Can we get something clear here? Is yes. this as and uh, if you have, like you said, you've, you've gone through the statement, is it okay to raise an issue about the rate of killings in the North? Is it okay to raise the issue? Maybe we should need to separate, since we have an issue with the messenger. Can we look at the message and see how we is can provide solution the, the to them? Murik looked at the message. He did not just criticize government. You can criticize government. Okay. Anybody is free to criticize government. But Kuka did not just criticize. He called indirectly for a coup, forceful removal of a, of a democratically elected government. That is treasonable and it's not acceptable. If government decides to be looking at him and they didn't do anything, it's not, be, it's not because he has not committed any crime. Okay. So Kuka Let is being treated with pink's glove because of because we, 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 we we want peace in this country. Government too is being tactful. It's being diplomatic. Prof, since you uh, since you 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 actually would do want me to mention the revered Sultan of Sokoto, but uh, probably I should let you know that it is on record that uh, the committee has done pretty well. Which Sultan plays a key role in the past? You will recall that this committee played a key role in Jonathan's being ousted in 2015 and they were able to prevail on Jonathan, and he conceded. And he also in 2019... I beg your pardon. You I also beg your remember pardon. what happened you are, in you are I'm going to you listen to you, Were you there? Are you a member of the committee? Well, did you sit with them when they were, we when they were negotiating? Do. If you I have a different you be, version, you, it's okay, I expect prof. my uncommon to us to, to be equally neutral. Give us the facts. Raise your questions. When I Go mean, into the when statement I mean the committee, made. the committee... Who, it's on yes. record. If you have a different narration to what the committee There's has no done, such, I'm not you aware, have a I am not to aware say. of such record. The, the fact that the committee was working does not, mean, does not give any member of the committee, particularly the, the secretary, the license 
to make reckless statements. And we, 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 we insist that Kuka should recuse himself from that committee. He has lost credibility. Okay. No, we it, have no confidence it, it, in him anymore. Holding the post of it's secretary, okay. or even we being a member because of, of the position committee. of Muri. The, we, the honourable step we want him to take is to withdraw from that committee. And by the way, why is why is that committee? Why is the secretariat of the peace committee in Kuka Center? Why? <laughs> why is the head of Kuka Center the 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 the, 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 the head of the peace committee secretariat? It is not done. Okay, we have been taken for a ride in Professor, this country, Professor Akitola. And the fact that we... Just to quickly remind you before you, I take your last comment on this. Just to quickly remind you that um, uh, whatever you're saying remains the opposition of Murik. We've had different groups who have also endorsed definitely, what Kuka said. Definitely. So, uh, and uh, for whatever reasons, maybe you disagree with me that they played a key role, for example, in Edo governorship election being peaceful. Edo. I, I mean the I'm committee not, I'm, now. I I'm, do not mean. I, I do not give a damn what role he played in any committee in any election, even outside Nigeria. But over people this, have been playing roles, but nobody has the license to call for coup. It is illegal, unlawful, illegitimate, and unconstitutional. And if he is taken up, it is it is treasonable felony. The fact that he's not been taken up does not mean that he has not committed any crime. You, ca you cannot refer indirectly to a coup by saying that if a, if a, if a southerner had, been, uh, 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 had done been half of what Buhari did, there would have been a coup. It is an incitement of the people of the south, inciting, the, uh, inciting military men who are southerners to plan a coup. That is how it is. He is okay. calling on southerners. It is, it's a code. Is passing a message, a secret message. Okay, and Professor. That should be watched. Professor Akitola, I, I quite appreciate your consistency in your position. And like I told you, um, different strokes for different folks. Some believe that uh, he has said the truth, some believe that uh, he hasn't said the truth, where you fall into. And uh, we quite appreciate your time for speaking to us on this issue. Thank you once again, Professor very, Ishak I'm Akitola. I'm very pleased to meet you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah, we will take a short breather. And when we come back, I will be giving you my take, especially on this issue. Please don't go anywhere. <music> on Matthew Cooker's message, the call by Murik is indeed a serious call that may not be easily waved aside. I say this because his duty as Secretary of the Peace Reconciliation Committee is not only revered, their position and recommendations are usually viewed as non-partisan, neutral, and potent. The question is, does his message come with a posture of violence and not peace as what the committee stands for? Since this call is coming from a Muslim organization, could his disapproval be born out of his appellation on President Buhari being a Muslim? While we provide answers to all these questions, let it be stated that the clergyman's position is not in any way affecting his position in the committee. And that's my take on the issue discussed tonight. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. I remain yours truly, Coyote. Ladendi, saying bye for now.